your full body reformer at home workout. All you're gonna need is these babies or some fluffy socks or some sliders and obviously a surface that you can slide on. We're actually gonna start just with one of your towels underneath your left foot. Body weight through the right side. I want a micro bend through this knee and pull your core in nice and tight. Now your weight is shifting backwards a little bit. We're gonna start off by taking that leg out to the side, bending through this standing leg, then driving back up again. So with all reformer, it's super slow and controlled. I'm really making sure that you've got that mind-muscle connection happening. So you want to push through that heel of the standing leg, feel the glutes, and feel the quad muscle as well. So coming down, three, two, one, breath out, come up. Three, two, one, breath out a little bit faster up. This time we're going to come all the way down, and now we're going to pulse it. Amazing work. Pulling your core in tight, breathing. You have 20 seconds left here. Always knew that you were stubborn. Good. So hard. Really working through this standing leg and also pushing the toes down into the floor here. Working that inner thigh as well. Five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. We're going to combo that move now. So move to the center. You're going to take it out to the side and then in one movement, bring it behind you. Amazing work. Set out to the side and taking it behind at a 45 degree angle. Really good work. What can I say any more than desire? Sinking nice and low as you do this. Pushing up through that standing heel. Breathe. Amazing work, you guys. Okay, last 20 seconds. We're going to take it down super low. Now skater it in and out. So keeping the bend in this front leg. 10 seconds left. You're nearly there. Good work. Amazing. Changing onto the other side. So placing now your right foot onto that slider. Coming all the way out to the side, nice and low. And back up again. So keep me gonna fight me for my heart. Are you gonna get good work? Maybe I'm a fighter, never back and now if you do have dumbbells handy, you can actually go with a lat raise as well. Or even a bicep curl, whatever works for your body, whatever body part you want to work right now. A fly taking those arms out to the side. Are you gonna and back? Good. Three, two, one, hold it there, now slide, pulse and slide, amazing work, keep focusing, keep breathing, focus on a still point in front of you, okay, dig through this standing heel, push down into the floor, three, two, and one, center of your mat, remember we have that curtsy, and out to the side. Combo movement. Amazing. Keep this one moving. We have our pulse for the last 20 seconds. Of course we do. It would not be a Lily Sabri Pilates workout without a pulse, without a hold. Five, four, Three, two, take it back across the body, and we just glide it in and out. Pulses, glides, holds. I feel like it's just part of my vocabulary. Five seconds left. Woo, we can do it. Amazing, up into standing. We are gonna go with our reverse lunge just because I love it so much. Then we have core and upper. Taking those arms forward and up into standing. Good work. Amazing, you guys. Four, three, two, hold it out. Now draw it in, back, and all the way up into standing. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hand up. Amazing. Really squeeze. 
And if you're doing this workout with dumbbells, incredible. Good, come on. Keep digging deep here. One more. And up we come. Woo! Straight onto that other side. Dig deep, you guys, dig deep. Coming all the way out. And up. At halfway, we are changing to that combo move. Keep pulling your core in nice and tight. You're aiming for a nice straight line here. Keeping an eye on the time. Two more reps. You could be the first and the second and the third. Last one. Okay, combo. Take it out. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Push back. And up. Ooh. We're nearly there. Push up through these glutes, okay? Amazing. Sink low. The lower you are with this leg, the more you're going to hit into those glutes. Incredible work. Okay, we are now coming into a little bit of abs. So, you're going to fold up your mat. Make sure that you have something to put your forearms through, okay? I'm going to move it forward a little bit. And these are going to come underneath your feet. Okay. We're going crunch to pipe sequence. I am sorry for what I'm about to make you guys do. Come onto the hands. Nice strong plank position. Crunch your legs in. Back, butt to the sky. Look to the ankles. And back. Amazing, amazing work. Really pull the core in. Keep going, you guys. What I don't want to see keep going is this happen, okay? Super important, watch my spine tucking up, up and in. One more. Amazing work, drop back into a worship pose stretch for just a second. Whew. Obliques, back in we come. Feet back up onto the towels, okay, or the sliders. Take yourself into a plank. Right leg, right knee. Left leg, left knee. Take it back. Take it back. Other side. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Okay, if you want to, both legs move at the same time. Keep going, you guys. 15 seconds only. Pull that core in tight, 10 seconds. And come on down. You're now gonna take the mat out for feet in strap sequence, okay? So normally on the reformer, your feet will be against resisted straps. We're going without and trust me, it still blooming burns. Okay, bringing yourself into lying onto the mat. You're gonna hug your right knee in towards your chest. Okay, from there, join it with the left leg. Straighten both legs out to the sky. Drop the right leg down to 45 degrees. Open the left and the right leg. Take a circle and meet back in the middle, cross over. Amazing. I'm gonna go with four in each direction. This is three. Keep it smooth. Last one. Four. Change direction. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay. Hug behind the right leg. Take the left leg to the floor and hover it a few inches. Walk your hands up, pull in, one, two, change sides. Good work. Breathe, breath out. Breath out, it's nearly there. Come on, you're so nearly there. Pull that core in tight, breathe, breathe, breathe. Dig deep. Six 
seconds left. Two more reps. Amazing. Hug your knees into your chest. We're just gonna do one controlled roll up, roll down, just to mobilize the spine, okay? So flatten your arms down by the side of your body. Take a deep breath in, breath out. Imprint the spine to flatten your back into the mat and peel your way up into a bridge. One vertebrae at a time, lower back, mid back, upper back. Take your arms all the way up and over your head. Take a deep breath in, breath out, sigh out through the mouth. Take your arms back down by the side of your body and then control your spine down. Upper back, mid back, turn on the glute, pull the core in tight. Lower back and arise back into neutral. Hug your knees in nice and close to your chest. Rock backwards and forwards a few times. Try not to let your feet touch. Use your core, whoop, over rolled <laughs> to stabilize yourself all the way up. It's harder than it looks, eh? Hold. One more. And you made it. I love these reformer at home exercises. I hope you guys love it too. That was just a tiny little taster, just 10 minutes long. My full length workouts are 30 to 45 minutes long. There's so many reformer at home ones available on the app as part of the lead method, which combines Pilates hit and strength training to get you in the best shape, mindset, and feeling the best you ever have in your life. Honestly, the difference it makes is incredible. The results we get are incredible. The link is down below. It's on the lean app. And yeah, if you enjoyed that, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it really helps more than you know. I'm so proud of you guys. You smashed it. Well done. I'll see you tomorrow for another workout.